Oh my loves, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and are gearing up for a happy and safe New Year celebration, whatever that may be. For me, that means hanging at home with my dog in front of the tree. Um, yep. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I just wanted to pop in and talk about something that I mentioned on Twitter last night. I was on a video call with some amazing women, mostly from Australia, a couple from the US um, last night, talking about um, how we follow our truth and what that means. And um, the end of not just the decade, I mean, the decade, that's a pretty big deal. Um, but the year specific, this year specifically, I don't believe and never have believed in New Year's resolutions. I do firmly believe in end of year reflection, which is what we spoke about on the call last night a little bit. And I'm going to present to you an exercise that I'd like you guys to do when you guys are sitting at home and you're reflecting on this last year um, that we did last night. And I think it's very um, interesting. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you about four pillars of this last year and in decisions that have been made and or making or didn't make, which is also a decision in and of itself. Um, so let's just get right into it. When you are sitting and reflecting, um, or if you've already reflected, go back and write this down. Um, I want you to think about decisions that you made just in this past year that um, have hit one or all of these four um, pillars. For me, I hit every pillar doom, 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 all the way down or maybe down or down. in any case. And I'll, I'll share with you mine um, here in a second. But when you're reflecting, I want you to think about any decisions that have been based out of these four pillars. First pillar is uh, ego. Have you made any decisions based on ego this year? Two is fear. Three is logic. Four is truth. And truth means um, really taking the time to sit and meditate and visualize and feel, feel where you are and where you are wanting to go. The important word there is to feel it. So often we feel something in our gut, whether it be right or wrong, and we do the exact opposite. I talked about that this morning on my um, words of inspiration, I, that my quotes that I post every day. And one of the things I said in also in conjunction with that quote is do not self sabotage um, based out of fear. Really hone in and listen to your gut and trust it. Trust it. Trust it. I cannot can't emphasize that enough. It's so hard, you guys. I know, I know it's so hard, especially if you're someone who has a lot of outside forces hitting you um, from all directions and you've got opinions over here and, you know, family and friends that are chiming in with different decisions. It's really important to quiet yourself. Quiet, be still, take a deep breath and listen to yourself, feel it, whatever it is that is calling you or um, it's that inner guide, it's your intuition. I've gotten so much better over the years of finally listening to it, um, which is why I'm about ready to uproot my entire life again because as crazy it is as it is, and that's my truth decision, um, it's the right one. And every time I think about it, I shouldn't say every time, most days when I think about what I am about to embark on, all I get is a sense of peace. 
there is expansiveness in my breath when I think of it. And that just tells me I'm on the right track. As crazy as that might seem to other people, it, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Um, I appreciate any thought or feedback or opinion, but ultimately, if you're in my life and you know me, you know that once I make the decision, that's pretty much it. It takes me forever to make the decision. I don't go back and forth. I just settle in and analyze everything. Probably a little too much, but that just works for me. Um, where was I going with this? Truth-based. Anytime that I doubt, I'm moving backwards. Anytime that I doubt um, the decision that has been made to embark on this new journey and go in this other direction, um, anytime I doubt it, I stop and think about all the little things that have pointed me in that direction. It's, it's pointed me to that star. And um, I can't go back. I, I, I won't go back. It is, it, that light is so bright. I, I gotta follow that star. Second star to the right, straight on until morning. So, um, that star's, it's, it's bright and it's true and it's honest and it's real and that's where I'm going. That's my truth. Moving backwards. So, um, those of you who are wondering, what is she talking about? What is she about to embark on? My goal is to eventually create a retreat for young adults who have um, suffered the loss of a parent through death, divorce, or abandonment. Um, I was saved by a very similar retreat, which I've spoken about in several blogs. Um, it's still going to take several years, but I'm a lot closer now than I was even six years ago. Um, even 10 or 20 years ago when I was thinking about um, moving in, in that direction, I, like, it's been this quiet voice that said, that's what you are meant to be doing. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And, and it's that thunder is just getting louder and louder and louder. And um, I can't ignore it anymore. So all the signs are pointing me in that direction and that's where I'm headed. Moving backwards, uh, that's how I got to my truth, is this. The three other pillars. At the beginning of the year, I lost my job. Um, they, the, they closed the store that I was running. I've been in retail management for nearly 30 years now, running businesses for different companies, and um, they closed. So I made a ego-based decision to sit on the savings, the little nest egg that I had, and try something new and out of my comfort zone because I thought, hey, you know what, why not? If I'm gonna try something, I might as well do it now. Uh, why the, the, you strike when the iron's hot. Um, and I thought that was then, and that was at the beginning of the year. Um, and that fell through, and then I, the savings was slowly dwindling down, and so I, I started to panic. And I decided that I really needed to get a different job, an actual, you know, not work from home, not do what I thought that I could do. Um, it just didn't work. It didn't work for me. And so I made the next decision out of fear. Um, fear of, <laughs> I like to have a roof over my head. And I like food on the table. I like my dog. I like my car. I like... <laughs> You know, I'm very low maintenance. I, I don't I don't even have a lick of living room furniture. This is my office chair that I'm sitting in. Um, the biggest piece of furniture I have is my bed. I don't I don't I don't need a lot. I just don't. So um, when I think about you know panicking and fear based, it's not like I have this massive lifestyle that I have to maintain. It's I like to have a warm roof over my head and food on the table and my dog in my car and you know that kind of stuff um so I went from an ego-based decision to a fear-based decision I stuck with that job for as long as I could um but it became such a toxic environment and I got to a point where um I, I'm not a quitter if you know me you know that um but it got to a point where um I could not fix the toxic, 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 God, um, environment. 
so the best thing and the most logical thing for me to do was to remove myself from said environment. Um, and I did that. So the next decision that I made was very logic based and that was taking a different job with a new challenge, which I really thoroughly enjoy. Um, because for me, learning a new system, um, uh, it, I'm an ops manager and customer service manager for a different furniture company. If you, if you followed me on Twitter or Instagram, you knew that I was working for a furniture company prior to that. I was a GM, um, running the back of house and the front of house. And now I'm running mostly back of house, but customer services at the front of the house. So I also have that team too. Um, but just learning the operating systems, um, computer based is, is new and different and actually old school. It's very DOS based, but Anyway, um, don't want to bore you with all that. But the challenge is, is great, and the people are good. They're, they're, they're good people. So, um, not that my team before was bad. I loved my team. Let me get, get off of that. Okay, anyway, so those were my four pillars. The first of the year, it was um, ego-based decision. The uh, second decision I made was fear-based. The third was logic. And now um, this decision in following my truth, which I have done for several years, um, but this big one again, um, actually started back th that little voice or the, as the thunder, as I call it, was getting louder and louder and louder. It started back in May. Um, I was really thinking about this. And then I just, I just made the decision that that was going to happen um, probably late summer, late summer, I think. And now the ball is rolling and it's rolling fast and I can't wait. So um, I want you guys, I don't want, I encourage, I, I mean, I would love for you guys to do it, but obviously you're going to do you and that's cool too. I'm just merely making suggestions. Um, as you reflect on this last year, think about those four pillars, write them down, um, and try to figure out whether or not you've made any decisions on one or based on one or all four. Um, and if you haven't gotten to a point where you have made a decision in truth, then I ask that you reflect upon that as well. Uh, really dig deep guys. And that might mean trying to figure out what truth is means for you, meaning, you know, don't do things because you think you are supposed to. Don't do things because your family thinks you're supposed to or your friends think you're supposed to. You, and I've said this before and I will say it again and I will continue to say it, you are the longest relationship you will ever have. You choose you first. There's love and then there is all else. But you have to love yourself. You are the longest relationship you're ever going to have. So on that note, I'm going to end because I got to dip. I got to go meet um, my one of my teachers from the studio, uh, dear friend, for dinner. So um, I will chat at you guys soon. Uh, have an amazing new year. Um, love the ones you're with. Um, and reflect. And I hope you guys have an amazing start. If I don't speak to you or chat at you, I guess, um, I hope your start to 2020 um, brings fruitful things and amazing things and adventure and fun and love.